still involved. It's 147 days. Girls are not back. So, um, I mean, the sole objective of the campaign is to push the federal government to, to um, do whatever they need to, to get the girls back. I mean, the options are twofold. Either you negotiate or you go in by force. So pick one and do it quickly. Um, so really, it's just about in increased pressure. So everything from rallies to gatherings to writing op-eds to media advocacy visits to media houses to get them to ensure that they still dedicate um, both writers and stories to the issues. Um, yeah, just, I mean, interesting what we bring back our girls was the fact that it was initially being credited, the hashtag was being credited to a, an American lady um, who set up a Facebook page. And I think by default then that made her the creator of it. And um, Nigeria and Twitter sort of went up in arms. And I think CNN at some point got involved as well because people had started interviewing her and she was granting interviews, basically saying she, um, started the hash the hashtag or the drive or whatever it was but yeah she eventually had to recant and tweeted that no she didn't start it so it was kind of interesting um around nigerians choosing to take ownership of of driving um the conversation around the girls and obviously i mean international media picked up on that I mean, internet penetration in Africa continues, on the whole, continues to increase. I think sort of being driven by Nigeria and, and South Africa. But um, until internet access is cheaper and, and more widely available, then you will have limitations to engagement online. And also literacy, that's the other thing I wanted to say. I mean, social media is, is a platform for the literate. Um, even though platforms that push video are do get a lot of... Um, um, as internet access increases, platforms that leverage on video will get more traction because it doesn't build on, you can communicate in multiple languages and it doesn't build your ability to, to read or um, to read, so you can just listen. Um, I mean, for me, the biggest thing is just to be myself. I mean, shape, sh tell my story as I know best how to and reflect as much of other story as I can. Um, I can, as, which is why I made the distinction of speaking when I was talking about internet access, saying I can speak, I'm speaking for, I could speak for Nigeria comfortably. But even within Nigeria, a country of 170 million people, 250 ethnic groups, I mean, there's some things that you can say broadly, but there are also things that will be particular, peculiar and particular to certain groups. So, I mean, the best way to shape the discourse is to talk about my story as I understand it and make sure that nobody mistakes that for every Nigerian story or every African story.